This movie tells a story about Margaret, played by Alexandra Daddario, who finds herself in the glittering labyrinth of Tokyo by night, and as a respected English teacher of a Japanese flight attendant academy by day. With little life direction, she searches for meaning with fellow expatriates in a Japanese dive bar, drinking to remember to forget and losing herself in love hotel encounters with men who satisfy a fleeting craving. When she crosses paths with Kazu, a dashing Yakuza, she falls in love with him despite the danger and tradition that hinders their chances of being together. We follow her through the dark and light of love and what it means to find oneself abroad with a youthful abandon. This movie is totally uninteresting from start to finish. It's basically 97 minutes of an unsympathetic character whose experience annoying in a foreign country makes with a boring relationship that desperately attempts the future flashes of taboo sex play. Margaret is given practically zero context or death, making her a hard character to follow. Margaret is a tremendously hard lead to connect with given that she does absolutely nothing to try and help herself and the story doesn't provide any clarification as to why she's gripped by so horrific emotions. The film does little to flesh out who she is as a person beyond her recklessness and isolation. There is no real arc to follow for her character. We do get a few details of her backstory, quickly explained and without much context, and out of necessity, we learn even less about Kazu. We are waiting for something remotely interesting to occur, which shouldn't be that hard with a character involved in a Yakuza. Instead, Kazu's criminal and dangerous occupation are placed on the back burner to Margaret's more pedestrian and dull life choices. Giving Kazu more screen time to explore a distant site of his Yakuza involvement could have added some spice to the film. As is, Kazu could basically be a doctor, a lawyer, or even a business mogul. Once the point is made that Margaret is disinterested in caring for herself, let alone anyone else, she doesn't make for the most engaging lead. And without a strong protagonist to follow, this movie flounders. The film's issues with Margaret would perhaps be more tolerable if it were a two-hander, occasionally cutting away to events in the life of another character, but that's not the case as she is at the center of every scene. With zero motivation, her story has no arc and therefore fails to meet the basic requirements of a story. It's all just a cycle of sadness, and then fast cut sex scenes, and then more sadness and it gets tedious fast. Some nice cinematography does not negate absurd navel gazing and lack of story. It's all just window dressing that provides no actual depth. Overall, this is a bad movie.